Miss Kristen of the Ooster Hat Free Library. And today we're going to celebrate these adorable guys, squirrels, because January 21st is Squirrel Appreciation Day. Did you know that squirrels can be found all over the world except for Australia and Antarctica? Mm -hmm. They seem to be everywhere. You've probably seen them yourself in your own backyard or in your neighborhood or maybe when you were out for a walk. There's a lot to appreciate or like about squirrels. For all they're super cute, they're smart, they make funny noises. Oh, and did I mention that they're super cute? Um, well, there's one wonderful thing to like and appreciate about squirrels. Do you know what that is? Here's a hint. It has something to do with what this guy is climbing on. Still not sure? Well, I have a story to share with you that will tell you what the wonderful thing is that squirrels do. And then I'll share a fun game with you that you can play at home. And I'll also show you how you can be a squirrel scientist. So let's get started with our story called Squirrel's Family Tree. Squirrel's Family Tree by Beth Ferry and illustrated by A.N. Kang. Published by Orchard Books, an imprint of Scholastic. Squirrel gathers acorn seeds, sturdy little oak nut seeds. Anticipating future needs, she gathers acorn seeds. Squirrel hoards her acorn seeds, scatter hoards the nut brown beads, buries them in dirt and weeds, those hardy acorn seeds. Squirrel stores them in a cache. A cache is just an acorn stash. Watch the squirrel dart and dash and fill each hidden cache. Watch her also eat a lot. She eats some acorns on the spot. She nibbles with the plan and plot to gobble quite a lot. In a snap, winter comes. Snow falls down and cold wind numbs. Squirrel eats up all the crumbs as winter swiftly comes. Squirrel does not hibernate. She'll snuggle down and sleep in late. But always she'll anticipate the taste of something great. And great describes those acorn seeds. Those yummy seeds her tummy needs. Watch her hunt those hidden seeds on which she plans to feed. But many seeds she can't locate. Her tummy will just have to wait. And those seeds might just germinate if found a bit too late. Snowflakes melt in springtime sun shines down warmth on everyone and something magic has begun as winter's rain is done squirrel sees a tiny sprout from acorn shell a sprout pops out squirrel knows without a doubt this sprout will soon branch out soon the sprout is not so small a sapling grows up big and tall. So many awesome things start small. That's nature after all. Squirrel wants to make a nest, a comfy oak leaf twig tight nest. Moss and grass make it the best and softest place to rest. She settles in all cozily and quickly has a family. And what a sight it is to see our squirrel's family tree. Squirrels come and squirrels go, scatter hoarding to and fro, making sure that oak trees grow and grow and grow. Without the oak, there are no seeds that squirrels love and squirrels need. 
there's much less chance they will succeed without the acorn seed. But squirrels also help the tree by planting seeds haphazardly. Squirrels are the heart and key to oak trees yet to be. The acorn cycle knows no end, from seed to oak to seed again, and trees and squirrels will be friends until the very end. The end. Did you guess what the wonderful thing is that squirrels do that we can all appreciate and like? They hide their nuts, which can then go on to grow into brand new trees. And we can all be thankful for that. But why do squirrels do that? Why do they hide their food? Well, squirrels do not hibernate or sleep the entire winter. But so where are they going to find their food in wintertime? And what kind of food do they like to eat? Let's take a closer look. Some favorite squirrel foods include nuts like acorns, walnuts, other tree nuts, seeds like sunflower seeds or bird seed, uh, fresh fruit and berries like apples, and even mushrooms. These foods are hard to find in winter time, so squirrels have to plan ahead. Squirrels will start saving and hiding their food in late summer and fall. They hide it by digging many different holes in the ground. And why do they do that? Well, they need a lot of food to get through winter. So they break it up into small groups of food to make sure that they have enough to eat and that the food lasts throughout the whole winter. But how do they remember where they hid all of their food? Well, they dig it up and bury it many, many times to help them remember. They might also remember where a special rock or special tree is. And what helps them find their food is their good sense of smell. They can smell the food even if it's buried under snow, just like this guy right here. And each time they dig up their food, which is called a catch, they check to make sure that it's still good enough for them to eat. Kind of like when we check the food in our refrigerator and make sure it's still good to eat. But sometimes squirrels forget where they put their food. Sometimes they may even take another squirrel's food. Squirrels can even pretend to bury their food to trick other squirrels into thinking that there's food in a hole, but there really isn't. That's pretty tricky and pretty smart. Now, you can test your own squirrel memory with this game. It's available in the description box below that you can print out or you can create your own. It's a squirrel food memory game. So it's just like any other uh, memory game uh, with the food that the squirrels like to eat just like this. And you'll play it so you cut it out and mix it up and then try to match them. And then another thing that scientists who study and observe squirrels learn is that not only do they dig their little holes for the food, but they also sort it. So they might put all the nuts together in one hole, and then another hole might have mushrooms that they like to eat or bird seed that they might like to store for later. You can find this in the description box below, or you can even create your own. As I said, there are scientists who observe or watch squirrels to learn more about them and their behaviors and where they can be found. And you can be a scientist at home with some of these fun activities that you can do just by looking out for squirrels in your own backyard or your neighborhood. Let's take a closer look. You can start by looking outside and looking up. You might see what looks like a bird's nest from far away, but up close you can see that it's a nest for squirrels. This nest is called a dray, and squirrels make it by climbing high up on the tree and building their nest with leaves and other twigs and other things they can find. Other squirrels might live in a tree hole. Hey, that looks like the squirrel family from our story. 
You can continue your squirrely observations and be a squirrel scientist. Check out this fun checklist from Ranger Rick for some squirrel sites you can find in your own backyard. You can also do some citizen science by sharing your squirrel insights with Project Squirrel. Links are in the description box below. Well, I hope you had a fun time and are thankful for squirrels and appreciate them a little bit more the next time you might see one. See you next time. Bye.